What's poppin' T-Squad? It's me, Keisha. And today I'm here with a different kind of video for my channel. I've done hair videos in the past, but it's been about, ooh, maybe about two or three years since I last did a hair tutorial. Um, I believe the last time I did one was when my hair was longer. I had grew my hair out a few years ago, but then I shaved it all off again and went bald well as you can see that it is time for this to be bleached again i used to go to get my hair done every two weeks when i first started wearing my hair platinum blonde but my hairstylist cree hey cree girl i love you so much i miss you she has moved away to houston texas so if you're in houston texas and you're looking for a bomb hairstylist check out style by cree i will put her instagram information on the screen but anywho so before she left i had her teach me her ways of the world of how to bleach your hair at home and as you can see my hair right now is like very salt and pepper looking my color is coming out my roots are coming in my hair texture isn't as straight as it normally will look when my hair is bleached because when you bleach your hair it also aids as a straightener so what i've already done in this process is shaved my sides down and my back down a little bit more because i don't like for my sides to start you know like sticking up and stuff i can't stand that so i already did that off camera but everything else i'm going to do on camera so let's get into it let me show you everything that you will need and all these products will be listed down below in my amazon storefront you'll be able to get everything off of amazon that you will need so First product you'll need is, I use the Clairol Professional BW2 um, Powder Lightener. You're going to need this. I'm going to use two developers today. I'm going to use a 40 developer, and this is by Clairol Professional. This is their Soy 4 Plex Activator Cream Permanent Developer 40 Maximum Lift. This is a 40 lifter, okay? Then I'm going to use the same product, but a 20 developer. I'm gonna use the 20 developer second. Now when, you know, please be cautious when you do this at home. If you do this at home, watch other tutorials. I've watched other tutorials to learn what works best for me and what I learned from Cree. I am not a licensed professional, so do this as you may. <laughs> Also, because you have platinum or blonde hair, you're going to use um, a different kind of shampoo for your hair to keep the color. So I'm going, I have been using this, I don't know if you pronounce this, Dramac Silver Brightening Ageless Shampoo um, for all shades of silver, gray, and blonde hair. I use their shampoo. This is how it looks. And I use their conditioner as well. Like I said, all of these products will be linked down below in my Amazon storefront. Um, when I style my hair to lay it down after I get done with the bleaching process, I'm going to use this lot of body coconut and shea oil wrap me foaming mousse. This goes a long way, especially because I ain't got no hair. I've had this like for maybe about almost two years now. Um, you're going to need some Vaseline to make sure that you don't get any bleach or anything around your edges you're going to need some plastic caps for your hair you're also going to need some gloves and you're going to need a mixing bowl and a, a bleaching dyeing brush whatever you're going to need one of those and you're going to need a measuring cup all right now let's get it started first step that we're going to do is we're going to take the vaseline and we're going to place vaseline all around the perimeter of our hair and everything this is so weird doing this on camera because everything is facing the opposite way um i should have put another like um uh, mirror or something so i can see exactly what i'm doing that's exactly what i'm about to do let me grab my mirror oh and i missed the product you're gonna need some styling strips as well to lay your hair down i know i ain't got no hair but you still want to make sure your shit is laid down properly when it's time to do the laying down process so have you some styling strips all right 
Now I can properly see what the fuck I am doing. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put this all around, like I said, your edges on your ears because you will get product on your ears and you don't want your ears to start burning or anything like that. Get all in behind your ears. All around the back baseline of your kitchen. This is my third time bleaching my hair. The first time I did it, I did the 40 developer for an hour and a half. And I just did one treatment. The second time, two weeks ago, I did the 20 developer for an hour and a half. And then I went back with the 40 developer to try to lift it some more. And I left it on there for about almost 30 minutes. But this time I'm going to reverse it and do the 40 developer first for an hour and a half. And then I'm going to go back and do the 20 developer for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. We'll see. So next up after we have the Vaseline all around our edges, we're going to take the, the measuring cup and... We're going to place in the 40 developer first. And you're going to put in two ounces of the 40 developer. And judging by this, I'll be needing another bottle soon. Then you're going to take that lightning powder. It comes with a scooper already. And we're going to place in two scoops of the powder. Hell, I treat this shit like it's cocaine. I do not want this shit getting in my nose. <laughs> All right. Let me go wash my hands and get this powder off my hands. Now, we're going to put our gloves on because if you get this on your hands, you could have an allergic reaction and your hands will start itching really, really bad. And that has happened to me before. And the only thing will get it to stop it from itching that I've used is aloe vera. And thank God I had some on hand because of my breast cancer. But keep your gloves on throughout this process because you do not want this getting on your hands. So we're going to take that developer and put it into the mixing bowl. And you want to get all of that in there. I'm going to take my brush to brush out the rest of it into the bowl. Then we're going to start to mix this up. This is how it looks. You want. <coughs> oh, it got in my mouth. You want to mix this until it has like a mousse like foamy kind of texture. I'll show you. So that's how you want it to look after you mix it. You're going to start applying it to your hair. And what you want to make sure that you do is cover every inch of your hair so that every inch of it gets bleached. So now we're going to start applying this to our hair. And I like to start around my edges and stuff first and then the back and then work my way to the top. You want to make sure you get all the way on your the, the, the edges of your hairline so you make sure all of that gets processed and you don't want to start your timer until your full head is covered see i already got a little bit on my ear that's why you want to make sure you got that Vaseline on your ears. Now, normally I'm sitting at my uh, dining room table and I have that mirror behind me to see the back of my head. But since I'm over here filming this, I'm just going to use a hand mirror to look at the back of my head to make sure I'm getting everything fully covered. See, like so. Okay, now I have my hair fully covered. I'm going to place on my plastic cap. 
keep on your gloves for this part. You don't want any of that getting on your hands. You're going to place your plastic cap on your head. All right, now you can take your gloves off. See, I got some on my face. I'm going to wipe that off real quick. Now I'm going to set my timer to an hour and a half. And I will see you guys then. All right, you guys, I am back. It has been an hour and a half. I have my gloves back on. I'm about to wash this out. Make sure you wear gloves. You do not want to rinse this out barehanded because your hands will be tore up from itching so wear gloves when washing this out and this is how it looks with me just washing it out i haven't shampooed it or anything yet i just washed the product out because i want to see if i'm gonna have to go back with the 20 developer and lighten it some more because it might have some like brassiness or anything in it so let's see what one process has done Woo! we are white 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 i am seeing a little yellow you might not see it on camera but in the mirror i'm seeing a little bit of yellow so and a little bit of yellow up in here so i am going to do the 20 developer we're going to follow the same process as we followed the first go around the second go around now as you can see i have the vaseline around my edges and everything again i got my gloves on i did the powder and the developer i'm just going to apply this to my head like i did the last time all right guys i'm done applying the 20 developer and powder i'm putting on some new gloves so i can put on another plastic cap and i'm gonna leave this on here for about an hour and then we're gonna wash it out see what the color is looking like and then set my hair and i will get under the dryer i got shit all on my shirt this is a brand new shirt child set the timer for one hour i'll be back in an hour loves all right so i am done washing my hair I had to take my top off because it got soaked when i was washing my hair but let me show you all how everything looks Woo! We are bright white. Yes, ma'am. I got it bright white. Boo! That's cute. Booku booku. That's cute. Now I just gotta set it and shape it up and all this stuff. I did it finally. It is cute. Okay, I'll call, call you back. Bye. So now I'm going to take the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oil Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And I'm going to administer that all over my head. I'm going to take my rat tail comb and comb it out. And I like to have my top kind of like swooped over to this side a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of Eco Professional Styling Gel Olive Oil onto my sides and onto my back. Just to make sure that it lays down the way that I want it to. I'm just going to put a little bit. Just a little bit, as you can see, onto my fingertips. 
because I really want my sides to be laid. And then I'm just going to take one of those styling strips and wrap my hair. okay now i'm going to blow dry my hair and come back and line my hair and put the parts in it and we'll be done please don't hate me i know i said that i would come back and show you guys how i lined and put the parts in my hair but by the time I got done blow drying my hair and watching TV, I got really sleepy and tired. And I was like, fuck it, I'll just do it in the morning. And when I did it the next morning, I didn't have enough time to show you guys. But this is the finished result. Next time, I'll show you guys how I line and part my hair. But this is the finished result of everything. I love the way it turned out. The color is perfection. My parts, the lineup, everything is just sickening. I look great. Once again, these are all products that you all can cop from my Amazon storefront. Everything is available right there. Um, and you can start dyeing your hair at home. If I honestly would have known that I could do this to myself a year ago when I first bleached my hair, I would have been doing this at home the whole time and saving myself money because every two weeks I was going to get my hair bleached, lined up, and the parts and everything in it. And I was paying every two weeks almost $225 every two weeks. So just think about the money that I am saving now by doing my own hair. You are going to make sure that you want to keep your hair uh, conditioned and moisturized because with your hair bleach, it will break off if you don't take care of it. So that is something very important. Make sure that you sleep on a silk pillowcase. You just don't be rough with your hair. You got to keep it moisturized and conditioned. But other than that, you're going to look sickening. I look good. I feel good when my hair is done. So yeah, I hope this video helps you guys. You get some tips and tricks. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button and check out these dope videos. Bye.